these are so fucking cute yes i love them oh sorry baby oh she mad oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry good morning y'all welcome back to my channel it is vlogmas day for y'all my nails is falling off it's crazy like when you vlog like every day y'all like really finna see me fall apart because <laughs> my nails is coming off and i can't go to the nail shop anymore because the fumes is too much for me it makes me like want to pass out and i need to take my hair down so when y'all see my hair don't even worry about it um yeah don't even worry about it <laughs> but i'm trying to find me um some pants to wear like y'all because it's getting cold um outside and oh hold on i ain't even ready to take it off but it's getting cold outside not getting cold girl it is cold outside and i don't have like pants like that fit and that are comfortable like i have leggings but I only got like two pair and it's one pair that I'm wearing to the hospital, but I don't want to wear them before I go to the hospital. I mean, it really don't matter, but whatever. I might just put them on and I'm like, as I'm getting bigger, I'm becoming like a more jumpsuit type of girl. But I have a doctor's appointment to go to this morning and you can't wear jumpsuits because you need to be able just to lift up or pull down. So it's going to be a lot of baby content in this vlog, miss, because I mean that's what's happening in my life right now so hopefully you guys you know don't mind but that's kind of what it's gonna be i'm gonna try my hardest to switch it up though like every day we're not gonna be you know talking about baby stuff but i mean <laughs> that's gonna be my life real quick and you know me ow i just hit my elbow mm. but yeah finna um work on that hold on let me put my pants up all right y'all so i'm in the car now i had to put on the hat because my hair was trash and i don't have nothing to do with it right now it just needs to be taken down y'all know the vibes but we finna get some donuts right now i kind of don't want this but i'm here so I'm, i want it but i don't know what else i want so i'm gonna settle for this until <laughs> I just want something quick, like, because I'm starving. I've been hungry since last night. I just didn't feel like eating last night. You know, one of the things, like, gotta cook it and all that shit. I didn't feel like doing all that. So, I just ate me a bagel to hold me over and said I was gonna eat in the morning. But I don't like eating too much before my um, doctor's appointments like that because they do that ultrasound thing and that thing on my stomach, I don't wanna be... <laughs> I don't want to be farting <laughs> when they put that thing on my stomach. So that's another reason why. And you want to know something else, babe? I ain't take my morning shit yet, so this gonna activate it for sure. <laughs> but oh y'all, last night we, me and him watched Christmas movies, and when I tell you that was like the worst movie we've ever seen in our entire lives, like you know. A movie is trash like what you said last night you know a movie is trash when it's good actors in it and the movie's still bad like it had Esquire from fucking ATL it had Ray J y'all know right people joke, make jokes about Ray J but Ray J can actually act it had Ray J it had the dude from drumline the the other dude the 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 not 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 Nick Cannon coach but the other man, I forgot his real name. But hopefully y'all know who I'm talking about. Him, they had him in there and some other people. Oh, and the man from Joanna Man was in it. And it just was really bad. It was it was called The App That Stole Christmas, right? Something like that. I think it was called The App That Stole Christmas. I don't know if it was on Netflix. Shit, I don't fucking know, because he picked it out. But yeah, it was about this man who had an app and the app was called Bombazon, I think, and like it just was very dry and extra at the same time. Like apparently, like he was spending a lot of time working and shit around the holidays, shit like that. And then, um, 
he ran into his security guard like walking not a car crash or anything ran into his security guard walking you can go up babe what you want you want to get donuts or donut holes? Baby, i know what i want what, what do you I, want okay i want a sausage and cheese kolache and two glazed donuts i forgot where i was going in my story Oh, okay, yeah, no, he was walking and him and his security guard ran each other walking and the dude just falls out and pass out as in, And he's in like this coma or dreaming and he goes into like this alternative world where he like makes toys for fucking Santa Like we didn't we fell asleep on it. So I don't know how it ended like what was the moral of the shit But just know everything leading up until we fell asleep was fucking trash But you know, it's one of the movies that like you could watch and just talk shit about you know what I'm saying not really watch to enjoy so that was kind of the vibe last night but yeah today i am 37 weeks and five days yeah 37 weeks and five days today so hopefully i don't be too long in my appointment either because i don't got time for that but it's not it's not much it's not much that they gonna probably do to me today honestly I mean, it's nothing much they can do. They just take blood, they check the heartbeat, they give me ultrasound, and they send me on my way. The only thing that takes long is me actually getting called back there. But once I'm back there, I'm back there for like 30 minutes. Like, so, hmm. Y'all eat donuts, wherever y'all from. What's y'all donut, favorite donut place? Mine, I personally like the Chinese, like, lo local donut shop. But on the north side, we don't really have them. Like, we have one, but it's not that good. So, I just settle for shit food. You eating right now or you smoking first? You eating right now? You gotta go meet somebody first, or? I'm just gonna pick something up. Oh, okay. I was just making sure, like, I don't wanna get there too early and I'm just sitting there in the waiting room. Like, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, okay. You know, get out of there, get out of there. Oh, okay. I was just, I was just making Shut sure. Up. Hey, hey. Don't use the S word. Bro. Bro. Is that your, is that mine? Spell it. That's what I want. Bite back. You ain't bite that much. Damn, I knew it. I, you know, usually the one they mark is the one that's, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know your methods. Well, I would think that the one they mark be the different one. Right. So you went up. All right. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. Uh, but yeah. Um. I was talking about donuts, but I forgot why I was going my conversation. Oh yeah, I don't like warm donuts. Like donuts is too hot, they make me have to shake. Krispy Kreme is the best donut place to have. Krispy Kreme when it's cold, yeah. I'll never forget that time we went to that donut shop factory at night. <laughs> nah, babe. The best donut place when we used to stay in Stafford, up the street. That, that was the place we went to? Nah, we went to a different place. When you used to get off of UPS, bro? I'm talking about that one night we just went to it where they had all them different types of donuts. Oh, that you was know, nasty talking, to me. Yeah, yeah I know something. That was a that's a black owned business too. But that was nasty to me. And see, I was, you know, a little faded when we tried that, and that still wasn't that good, so I know it ain't that good. It's called I ain't even gonna try to remember. But I know that what you're was a while about. back. Long that time ago. You don't even remember. No, I won't remember the name, but I remember us going. We went with some people. Yeah. Well, somebody was with us. Yeah. You know. I had like one of them. Um... How you used to dress in the song? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was talking about the donut. Shut up. I had I had one of those. I think it was like chick chicken and donut like sandwiches, like donut burgers. I think I think it was just that. Like I don't like extra type food like when i get rich i don't know how i'm gonna eat like hopefully my taste buds mature some because i don't care for a lot of things like i my taste buds have matured since i was younger like when i was younger 
I used to go to a nice restaurant and still want fucking chicken tenders and chicken wings. And there ain't nothing wrong with that because go for what you know. At least I'm not wasting my motherfucking money. But I don't know. Like I, I just know like when I go to nice restaurants, I don't want to just get like a familiar pasta. You know what I'm saying? Something I don't like that well, I really some shit that you ain't never had or yeah. something that's higher that you ain't never bought. But and like it. <laughs> exactly. That's what it is. And yeah. But no, something that I really wish I liked but I don't is salmon. They got a big station. They do. Look at this shit on them in the middle of oh, oh, Lord, y'all. Um, my titties. Salmon. Salmon. The fish. L, yeah, L, the L is silent. I like mine just a little overcooked. That's the only way it'll be good is if it's cooked fully and not just on no soft. But it be looking so good. Like people making salmon pasta, salmon shrimp, salmon, salmon yep, salmon I, mashed potatoes and gravy. Yep, yeah, I be seeing it. Gravy. Yeah, like but not that. gravy, but, but the juicy salmon shit. juice. Yes. Yeah, okay, There's a little page right there. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. I'm really growing a person. <laughs> this is my first one, so you know, I'm like, <laughs> it's crazy. Tell me this right here. A little bit of pressure. Heartbeat. Girl, it is time is it? It is 1.48. My appointment was at 11.45 and I didn't get called back there until 1.02. Like, I took a whole nap in the waiting room. Like, that was ridiculous. But everything's fine. They just went over my paperwork. Um, she gave me the paperwork to take to the hospital because, like I said, I'm doing like two weeks and they uh, had to check me to make sure that I didn't have to be in. Oh, shit. They had to check me to make sure. Huh? Yeah, come on. Because it's tight back there. Hey, Nick. What's going on? I ain't seen you in forever. How, How you doing? doing? I'm good. good. It's your birthday coming up? Yeah. But yeah, they have to, hey baby. They um, have to check me and see if they were gonna have to break my water early, but they don't think they will. But they just know that my blood clots is bad. So, they're gonna try to give me another appointment in the high risk doctor so they can check it again because at 15 weeks I had like 900,000 platelets and I think the normal is supposed to be like 1200 or something I don't know what that means they keep saying it but I just know it's a blood clot issue so we'll see I'm out of breath but that was a fucking mess that I was in there that long but I took me a good old nap though, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just happy I ain't have to get naked this time. So I made it home, but before I went, came home, I stopped at the store because, girl, I'm craving hot dogs. I know that sounds disgusting, but I'm craving them really bad. Hot dogs and corn dogs are good. You deep fry your corn dog with some mustard, period. But <laughs> you gotta make the elite hot dogs. You gotta get the, the ballpark franks, the beef flavor, boys. And yeah, with the cheese and the chili. If you like beans in your chili, 
you're disgusting. But I like the Wolf brand. I don't like no other brand of chili but this. Everything else tastes like the chili to be at like football games. I don't care for that. I don't care for that at home. Like if I'm out, maybe, but at home, that brand. And then y'all, these are my freaking favorite oatmeal cream pies. Oatmeal cream pies. Back in my munchy days. Those are the ones. And then I got me some chips. So these are the ones. So yeah, I'm about to roll it. I've been out for a minute. It's 4 4. I've been going to like 10 o'clock this morning. And I'm tired. I need a nap. I haven't really been to sleep. I woke up at like four in the morning, took a little nap at like eight, and got back up. So I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm tired. So I'm about to make my hot dogs, take a nap, and then I got a mini Christmas tree in my room. And I don't know, I may decorate that tonight because my mom bought me some ornaments and they're like pink and they're really cute. I'm showing them to y'all. So, yeah, I'm about to. I'm not focused. <laughs> I'm about to bust open my Franks and do what needs to be done. My dad is disgusting though. He'll take these out the refrigerator and eat them. That's nasty. Hey y'all, so I'm back home um, and I got me a package. Can y'all see it? No. <laughs> Period, okay. Got me a package. I think these are my boots. I ordered some boots. Hopefully, I fit them. My feet or anything, my feet aren't swollen or anything. My feet aren't swollen or anything, but I got big calves, so. I be having a hard time finding boots that fit my calves. So I ordered from Shoe Dazzle, cause I got big ass feet. And some places where they have my sizes are sold out. So when I know I wanna probably find some boots that I can fit, I go to Shoe Dazzle. Um, places like Fashion Nova and stuff like that sometimes have my size and sometimes they don't. But Shoe Dazzle always has my size in stock. The only thing about Shoe Dazzle that I don't like is sometimes they styles can be a little outdated to me, but sometimes you can go in there and find something good. So I got me some of these. I really wanted some chocolate brown boots. So these are the, I think that they're gonna fit. That calf look pretty wide with the pointed toe and the heel. I really wanted some good, like some cute ass boots. So we're gonna see if I can fit them. Let's see. But aren't these cute y'all? These are so sexy. I miss wearing heels. Like, hopefully I can still walk in heels, bitch. I ain't walking heels in nine months. <laughs> okay, so I know that my foot is gonna feel tight in these. I can feel it and see it now. Oh, and see, they got the double zipper to be able to get your foot in. See, that's why I like shoe dazzle. Like, it's it's built for people that set up like me. <laughs> is this the right foot? You ever put on pointy shoes and be like, damn. That, wait, is this the right foot? Hold on, y'all. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Y'all, I'm gonna take these off. Okay. Y'all, I can fit them. I know I can, but this cotton material, 
that I got on and this belly is in the way of me really working myself into these shoes because y'all know boots like these well at least if you think you got to work into them but the zipper and everything I can like close it I just can't I just <laughs> I just can't do it right now I'm really full from Waffle House and I just can't but they fit they fit my foot and these socks these socks are too thick for boots so but they fit my foot I just can't I just can't put them on right now <laughs> the zipper was all twisted I just can't but these fit so I'm happy about that these are a motherfucking winner I just can't get in them right now you gotta work you gotta work in these type of boots and I gotta I gotta work in these but like you don't like you, if you know what I mean you gotta like boots that go up to the thigh and shit sometimes you gotta work your way in it and right now Right now, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but those are a winner, so I'm happy about that. And then I got a pair of black boots. Another, another like kind of pointy toe, and then the heel. Boom! And it's like one of those like wider heels, not really like stiletto, and it has like a little gold detail on the side. I thought these were cute. pretty simple and, I, and you see how like it's kind of wide I feel like they should fit my calves fingers fucking crossed but even if they can't though y'all I'm still keep them because I am like bigger right now like I gained like 30 pounds since being pregnant so I know a lot of my swollenness is my pregnancy swollen but if y'all watched um like a vlog i did a couple months back or whatever when i ordered some boots from fashion over i knew that i could not fit those like i'm talking about i couldn't even like get up my calf but if they can get up my calf i can zip it but them other ones couldn't even get up my calf Whew. i'm tired <laughs> oh yeah see perfect perfect and then and i and i took my socks off See, these ain't go, don't go all the way up to the top. Perfect, beach. Oh! <laughs> oh! And they comfortable. Oh! Bitch! I can't fucking wait! Y'all cannot wait to be a bad bitch again. I swear to God! <laughs> I swear I be in my bed late at night. I just be thinking like, damn. I can't wait to be that bitch again. Can't fucking wait. These are so fucking cute yes i love them oh sorry baby oh she mad oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry see i'm doing too much i'm doing too much at first it started with them boots now nah, i see them doing too much but i'm so geeked though y'all if you are a thick girl you know the struggle when it comes to finding boots that fit your fucking calves and me i got thick calves and big ass feet so <laughs> it'd be oh girl but these are it yes they fit oh my god i'm so happy i don't even want to take it off <sighs> and they're comfortable yes i knew they would fit i wonder if they have any more sizes I mean on size is colors because I will get these in another color but yeah so right now I'm just chilling just got back home I'm full then a bitch and my stomach is cramping up right now because she's like girl you're doing too much and she's mad at me hold on let me take my shoes off because I don't want to scratch or anything y'all know that's something about leather that is something I'm just trying to get y'all to be able to see me. That is something about leather boots. <laughs> Ugly angle, but whatever. That get on my nerves though. They scratch so fast. And when they scratch, it ain't no fixing. I just want to show y'all that I got in the boots. Um, I had to do it for myself. So yeah. But they're so fucking cute. Oh my god, yes.